Now, as you begin using Ignite UI, you have the option to interface with controls using two different types of approaches. The first is a JavaScript only approach, which uses JavaScript exclusively to support the instantiation of the control. This code snippet demonstrates how you would, with jQuery, create an instance of the IG grid control with filtering enabled. Alternatively, you may choose to use the ASP.NET MVC wrappers. Either way, when using the controls with the wrappers or directly through jQuery, it's the same control being used. There's just some times when you may opt to drop down and use the MVC wrappers if your project is an ASP.NET project. When using MVC wrappers, you'll do some configuration work on the server, which prepares the control and serves the page up where the instantiation is still done in JavaScript. The wrappers just give you an opportunity to have a tighter interface with your view models and control configuration models in a strongly typed fashion if you prefer or find that you need it. The code at the top of this listing shows you the interface with the wrapper in a CSHTML file. And the bottom section demonstrates how you might prepare the grid for a filtering scenario in C Sharp. Now, one of the points I want to emphasize through this is that while Ignite UI ships with ASP.NET MVC wrappers, by no means is it an ASP.NET only toolset. Using the JavaScript approach, the Ignite UI controls are just as easily accessible and appropriate for Rails, PHP, Django, Struts apps, and beyond.